Right, so... I think some things need to change around here. And what I mean specifically is, like, the branding of the channel has never really been what I want it to be. And what that means is for the last four years, I think, for the last, basically for a year when I started the channel, Back in 2017, I was using my real name, Luke Warner, um, for about a year. And then 2018, so that's, that's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. That's six years. So for the last six years, I've been known as... Luke does stuff. I've... My channel, my Twitch, everything that I've been posting content to uh, has been known as Luke does stuff. And I thought that was a fine name. I thought it... I thought it was... Because my channel was variety content back then, I was uh, doing food reviews as well. So th there was kind of... There was, like, this kind of idea that I didn't want to have a channel name that kind of pigeonholed me into into any kind of specific type of content. Um, but what, what I have decided to do now, um, because I've stepped away from doing uh, food review content and variety content that is outside of games, comics, and that kind of thing. I wanted to have a name for the channel that reflected the content that I make and that reflected the kind of vibe that you're going to get from the channel. Um, and so I decided Luke's Geeky Corner because that's the vibe of the content. The content is, is geeky, but I wanted to, I wanted to have something that felt inviting, that felt like it, you know, it's a corner. It's, it's going to be something that like everyone, everyone's welcome to. It's going to be something that's inclusive. It's going to be something that, you know, people feel comfortable being it or watching. Uh, it's going to be something that is very like, easy to watch, I think, and, like, easy to listen to, or whatever. I wanted to make something, I wanted to make, or to brand the channel, uh, in a way that kind of made sense, and Luke's, Luke Does Stuff didn't make sense. It had a lot of questions around it, like, what kind of stuff is Luke doing? What, what is the channel actually about? Like, there's no theme there. Um, it just didn't feel like it kind of gave anyone any kind of impression of what the kind of content would be, what, what they would have expected, uh, coming to the channel. So now there, now there is a name to the channel that actually reflects the content I make. Uh, and it does actually you know, have something to do with what the channel's actually about. And it does explain what the channel is. Uh, people won't have to be watching watching my content for years to to figure out what I'm all about. People will just see that and be like, hey, it's geek content. I'm a geek. I want to watch that. So, yeah, it, hopefully it makes the channel a little bit easier to find. Hopefully it's like searchable and hopefully there's like hopefully it's easier to tap into that niche that I've been wanting to tap into now that the channel name directly directly like says the niche that I'm trying to tap into the twitch name has also changed uh, that's no longer Luke 
Luke, um, Luke does stuff underscore. It's now, uh, geeky streams. Uh, it's just easier, isn't it? It just, it ties in with the, the name of this channel, you know, and the TikTok name has changed, it's obviously changed as well. It's the exact same as it is here now. Um, so everything just kind of is a bit more appropriate for the content that I'm making. Uh, cause Luke does stuff never felt like an identity. It never felt like it showed what I was actually doing. It didn't show off any of my personality. It didn't show off anything. And like the first thing that people are going to latch onto when watching content is your name, the name of the, the name of the channel. And Luke does stuff didn't tell anyone anything about what about what the content I'm making is. Um, also, there's a lot of there's a lot of these blank does stuff channels, and when your when your content is so niche, you kind of have to have the niche in your channel name, like comic story and comic pop, uh, comics explained. Um, you kind of need to have some kind of variation on the word comic or on the word nerd or on the word geek in your channel name for anyone to even to even think about finding you because you when you're looking up up comic book content that you put up, uh, you put in the search bar comic the first thing that comes up is going to be those names it's not going to be luke does stuff you know so no one's no one's finding my channel that's looking for the, that that th- that specific thing um, and that was the, that's the biggest impetus behind it is like, I just want, I just want to, to kind of clarify that that is the kind of content I'm going to be making going forward. And that is the kind of content I'm going to be sticking with because it's the kind of content I find the most fun to make. Um, the food reviews were okay for a while, but a, Eating food for a living wasn't, isn't doing me any good. It wasn't doing me any good. Uh, and secondly, you kind of, you can only, you have to be really professional and have a really professional setup to be able to do videos where you review and eat food and not be and not turn into a laughing stock or turn into a joke or turn into some someone that the internet mocks um especially especially being someone that is on the heavier side um doing videos where i eat food it kind of is a stereotypical b it opens it opens up to th- that kind of audience coming to the channel and that's certainly not what I want. I don't want to, you know, become a joke. I want, obviously I want humour in my videos and I want people to be laughing with me, not at me. And that's why I kind of stepped away from that kind of content. I don't think I need to give a big explanation as to why that is or why I didn't want to, want to, become a caricature or to be that guy that's that guy that's chubby and eats food I don't think I need to explain why I didn't want to be that I don't think I don't think I need to clarify why that's not something that I really wanted to pursue because I did find it fun and I thought it was funny at at the start but then it kind of spiraled into something like people only watching that, uh, only watching that content and people weren't watching it for the reasons that I, that I wanted people to be watching it for. And also I was not proud of those videos coming out anyway. I wasn't, um, I wasn't thinking about it like it was, like it was, I wasn't thinking about it like it was videos that I was enjoying making. I was thinking of it as, these are videos that get the views and that's not what I care about anymore. I care about 
making content that I'm proud of and the content that I have been making recently is content that I'm proud of. The stuff that I've been doing over in my streams is stuff that I have been really proud of. Um, and speaking of stuff that I'm really proud of, uh, next week is um, Make Mine Marvel. Uh, we're doing charity streams all week, uh, raising money for Mind. Uh, we're going to be playing through um, Marvel's Midnight Suns. Obviously, we're not going to get through it in the in the in the week. Um, that game's going to take me the rest of the year. But if you have been excited uh, about watching me play through Marvel's Midnight Suns, whether you've played through it before and want to see what my reaction to everything that comes out in the game is, uh, or you haven't played before and you want to experience it and you want to experience it live with me, then. You know, hop over to my streams and also that first week, I want as many people's, people there as possible, uh, so that we can raise as much money as possible for a really, um, a really worthwhile cause. But yeah, that's basically the gist of why I decided to change the name. I know I didn't really need to make this video 11 minutes, but I, I, I might as well. Um, so yeah, I just want to make, make it clear that the channel is for geek culture, but I also want to, I also want to kind of keep an essence of everyone's welcome here as well. I want to keep that essence of, even though the content is themed around superheroes and geek culture stuff and Star Wars and gaming, I want to make, I want to make it as accessible as possible. I want people that aren't, people that may have a, like, bordering interest in, in Marvel stuff and superhero stuff and gaming stuff to be able to see this channel and be like, that's an entry point. Or that's something that can, that can kind of, like, pique my interest a bit. And that can kind of, like, springboard me into maybe collecting comics or maybe picking up video games. And, like, getting into this kind of stuff and I know that it is very difficult to get into comic books because there's just so much out there there's so many um but I want to kind of be that springboard for people and obviously people that already already collect comics already are into that stuff already uh, take a shot every time I say already um people that are into that stuff and are, you know, geeks and nerds already, they can have conversations about the comics in in the chat. They can have conversations about games that I play in in the comments in the chat on Twitch as well. Um, and it would just be a really fun time. It's like, <laughs> this is like making my first video all over again, just describing what I'm all about and what I'm going to be making. But hopefully a lot of this stuff is obvious anyway. But I just wanted a name that kind of more fit what the vibe of the channel actually is. So yeah, hopefully you like the name change. If you don't, uh, <laughs> sucks for you, I'm keeping it. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, and welcome to Luke's Geeky Corner base.